What's up with the tube, man? Vibe might be down a little bit, but <laughs> just the reality of the situation right now. The rest of the video is pretty high pace and me and Big Gerard killing it, but right now I just wrapped up my uh, my last shift at the hospital. Job I've been at for three years now. Last time I'm going in there, man. On to the new life and chasing what I want to been wanting to chase for years now, but just now finally have the resources and ready to go for it. But I wanted to give an intro to the video and let you guys know what's up, but I figured since I'm talking about this, I'll uh I'll kind of elaborate or whatever a little bit more on it, but yeah, I mean, like I said, this is my last my last shift. I just finished. It's like 11:30 at night right now. And uh you guys are probably thinking like, "Oh, you're quitting a job for another job." People do that all the time, but you got to understand I'm quitting a job where the comfortability level was probably a lot more than you guys could ever really realize. Like, I had the shit made. Like, <laughs> like, man, I didn't work very hard at all, dude. And I made decent money. I enjoyed the company and the people. Everyone liked me. I liked everyone else. And it was a good job, man. I grew up. This, this job allowed me to get this shitty apartment right here. You see that? Congrats to me. But this job, I grew up here, man. I grew up from 18, I'm about to be 22, and I've been working there the whole time. So this to me isn't just another job. Like I'm gonna always look back even when I'm 40 and remember this time in my life whenever I was doing these things and I was going in there 40 hours a week, clocking in, working there. Because for me, man, this seems like a lot. I mean, three years out of me being on earth, 21 years seems like a good amount of time. You know what I mean? But, and the thing about it is, is I'm not leaving, I'm leaving this comfortable job that I was just explaining to you guys for a grind. I'm not leaving this job for a silver spoon handout, leave this job here and this is on the other side. I'm leaving this for, I'm leaving that job for 16 hour days, 20 hour days, a few hours worth of sleep. And I'm leaving this job for a possibility of the life I want to live that I see and envision being down the road and down at the end of the tunnel and through this path. That's what I'm leaving this job for, for a possibility. You know what I mean? I used to look back at this job, man, when I was depressed and I would be down on myself and not be as confident and where I was going. And I would be like, man, you know, life's here. life here is not too bad. And I would try to convince myself that, oh, you know, this life is for me. Like, you know, I could, I could retire here. I could, I could make this a living. Like, uh, I ain't gonna, I'm just gonna be blunt here. Like, looking now that I'm out of that little depression and spell and kind of got my mojo back or whatever, dude, if clocking in and living that life for the next 45 years is what I have to look forward to, then to be honest, man, I don't think I'd want to be alive. You know what I mean? To me, that's just being alive. That's not living. I'm just alive. I'm just here doing this. And the past two, three months, man, not the past two, three months, but for two or three months, I was in a, uh, a real fog, man, like depression and dude, you know what I mean? I live day to day in this cloud over me where dude to be honest, i don't know how i got the shit done i needed to get i don't know how i went to the gym i don't know how i clocked in at work just discipline got me through that but that's not what i'm here to talk about but when you've been through dark times and you've experienced life that low i mean it makes you appreciate just being a little bit high feeling a little bit good feeling like yourself again you know what i mean it makes you appreciate those things so since I've been through that low point and I've had that depression stage and I'm on my way out of it and on my way up and chasing these things now, it just it just makes me so grateful and and just ready for anything to happen and just totally gave me a different perspective on stuff like 
the shit I used to care about, dude, I do not care about anymore. Like the little things that used to bother me. It's like, man, shit can be so much worse because I know it's been so much worse. You know what I mean? And now that it's not, man, I'm just so thankful. And maybe you guys out there, you guys are in like that rough patch right now. And you guys are dealing with some stuff and think like, oh man, I'm never going to get out. Or is this my reality forever? Or is this always going to last? And I just want to tell you guys, man, I mean, I'm no preacher or anything, but I can just speak from personal experience because I've been in that situation. Like it does pass, you know what I mean? It's not always going to be the reality you're living right now. It doesn't always have to be what it is. It's not always going to be that. You just have to keep putting your head down day by day and just just realize there's tomorrow. Tomorrow's a fresh start, man. Tomorrow I could wake up and have the opportunity I've been waiting on. Like just two weeks ago, I had no no idea I was about to go into this job or anything. I was about to be leaving this. And look here I am now, my last day. Shit can change overnight, man. So you guys gotta keep keep hope and keep faith that that it is gonna happen. And this isn't my reality forever. And yeah, this is a this is an intro to a workout vlog of me and Gerard. But <laughs> I just wanted to I this is just the reality and this is when I picked up the camera to film it, so I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on right now. But yeah, cool stuff coming up this weekend. I'm about to hop in the shower and eat and get my first sleep as a unemployed adult. <laughs> unemployed for the next few days, but till I start. But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys want me to like elaborate on anything more like I was talking about, I'm going to try to include this stuff, man. Like I told you guys in the opener, the intro video that the first video I shot, I want to talk about mental health because dude, like I, uh, because man, I, I've been dealing with this shit my whole life, my whole life, man. I can tell you guys stories on stories of the way I used to act as a young kid because of anxiety and paranoia and, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say depression. I never felt like I was depressed till a few months ago, but, uh, yeah, I've just been dealing with this stuff forever. So if I can help you guys, uh, in that aspect, man, I really want to, I'd rather much rather help people with that and inspire people to keep moving forward than to, than to go in the gym and hit chest and like, man, all of that shit's cool. But it all starts up here, man. If you don't have this, dude, all this shit means nothing, bro. Nothing. You have to work on this just like you work on your muscles, man. Whether it's going to a therapist, maybe looking into medications. There's nothing wrong with medication, bro. Nothing at all. Everything is about quality of life. If you can take a pill that's going to increase your quality of life, increase your well-being of, of wanting to be here on earth, then bro, do it. For real. But anyways, man. I hope you guys have a good day, good night, whatever it is, and hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I got some cool stuff planned for this weekend. I'm gonna record it. Um, Saturday's Arnold, like I said, then I got something cool for Sunday that most of you guys probably won't be expecting. So I'm gonna record that. And uh, yeah, man, only up from here. Peace. <laughs>
Oh yeah, oh yeah, keep that rhythm. Keep that rhythm, let's go. That rhythm, come on. Come on. Come on, two more, easy, easy, two more. Good. Yep, come on.
Hit a flex. Hit a flex. Give me your most muscular. This motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't see too many uh, 21 year olds backs like that. My back won't like that at that age. about lifting with Gerard is you will just be ready to hit a set and this motherfucker just disappeared in the bathroom in the bathroom I'm trying to hit a set I was in the bathroom I was thinking of flexing bro everywhere in different corners, all platforms, no machines. As a bodybuilder, this is like another. trying to hit on this exercise. All right, I'll try set. We got what? We actually got three hits. We got one here at the bottom, the inner, and the outer head. Mostly when you press them down, and you turn your, and you turn your elbows out, you're hitting the, the outer head, right? We want to hit the inner, so now we have to come down, but extend a little more to really get a good contraction on the outer head, or the inner head, which is, which is in here. How we gonna target that is
you what, bro? So, what do you think about to happen this weekend? So who's gonna win the Arnold? Yeah, for that open and you know classic too. I don't give a fuck about classic. Bro. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> no, we. Well, you are a classic bodybuilder, so I can't really say that. All right, let's start with that. Since you are classic, right? Since you do classic physique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who do you think's gonna win that? Probably. Probably Terrence. Terrence, yeah, Terrence. Or, but I like to see that uh, Yuri Scott. You know, I know, he looks good too. That young guy. Yeah, yeah, he's he like 23, good. 24. I love his front. I love the front. I love, I love everything in the front, even his glutes and his calves, but his back, he got a couple years for Terrence. Terrence from the yeah, back is yeah, like, you know, it's lights out. So everything will look pretty comparable until they turn around, and that's when Terrence is going to just take off. Probably like Terrence, Yuris, and then Breon. Terrence, Breon, oh, Yuris. How are you say his fucking name? Yeah. And the dude from Brazil. What about the open? Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry? Yeah. And then probably Brandon William on that. No, 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 no. William was two? Yeah. Uh, who, who's gonna be two? Brett. I like Brett, man. I, I like Brett, man. And, and yeah, I, think Brett, I think Brett will get second. Hey. If, if not win. I, I like Brett, but I can't really I can't really say. No one's I, can't, I can't really put him at two right now because he's only done one show. So I'm saying, no and I haven't seen him compare to other like season vets, so he's only been compared to Hunter. And he, he matched up good, but like to other people. Should've have, won, but they should have won. He should have won for sure. I, I had a win in it. That would have put him in top five. Because right? Hunter had like, Hunter had more like a film more of a water on him. And I'll just say this. I know my, my winner's gonna be, of course, Brandon. And then the rest, no, no order. Brett, Brett. Uh, Steve Kuklov, William Bonac. A, a lot of people dropped out. We have to see the lids. Hmm. Shit, I don't know. A lot of people dropped out. But that's my top four anyway. Uh, Brandon, William Bonac, Brett, Steve Kuklov. Yeah, that's my, that's my top four. All right, guys. You saw, man. You know we went in. It's always good uh, working out with Gerard. That was the that was the first dude in this city who was like, "Oh, bro." He was like, he, was, he saw me when I was like, got first getting into this shit, and he was like, "He's like, oh man, you got potential," and saying all this stuff. So, Gerard, he's kind of been a, always been like a inspiration for me, kind of because he's just someone in the town who who's doing this, trying to do the same shit and. He knows what he's talking about, man. He's a real good guy, and you, he always takes his time to talk to people. Like he was saying, man, who you train with really does affect your workout. So if you can find a good training partner, man, uh, there's really nothing better than that for your progress. But anyways, headed home now. And uh, yeah, you saw we gave the Arnold predictions. Going to the Arnold this weekend, I'm gonna be recording that. I'm not trying to make anything about me, just literally just record the, my experience. And uh, for people who like, if you can't go to the Arnold just to see like what it's like, see the expo. And then we were talking about it. Hopefully I can get tickets to the night show, to the finals. And then I'll try to record the, all the finals, uh, the classic, the bodybuilding. I'll try to record that uh, for the channel. So it should be some good footage this weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. It's like the first year the Arnold's been back in March and like had fans and everything. So it'll be cool. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video and uh, peace out.